Men Sharing Stories of Times, They've Walked Out of Dates, is the title of a fantastic article that I'm going to discuss. The fact that there are 12 very brief stories about scenarios where guys, nice guys, have been out on these dates with different women. Obviously, the first date is what I love about this article. In addition, the women in each circumstance have been impolite to either the waiter or waitress or to them. In a variety of settings, incredible disrespect. And these guys are saying, wait for a second, I'm not going to deal with this, as opposed to doing what most nice guys would do, which is to simply sit there and take it and pay for her meal and other things. They also leave her there. And it's great because, let's be honest, in the not too distant past, the majority of gentlemen would never have done this. It would be completely against their worldview because, if you're like the typical nice guy, they believe that women are sweet and innocent, that they are angels, and that they ought to be treated with the utmost respect, even though men are treated with disrespect. The problem is that, if you're honest with yourself, many of you have been through this before. A nice guy can be seen from a mile away, and they'll take advantage of you if they think you're a pushover or a doormat. Additionally, I'm confident that every one of you, or at least the majority of the guys who are viewing this at any given time, has been exploited in some way. That is another thing I enjoy hearing about this article. The world is changing. Because of the growing awareness of female nature, men are no longer putting up with this trash, and men who would never have done it before are now doing it. And the thing about this guy is that there are two major differences between a guy who is assertive, successful in life, and successful with women and the average nice guy. The first and most important thing is that the nice guy always puts himself last. He generally puts his wants and needs last. In the meantime, the assertive guy has success in relationships with women and life in general. He prioritizes his needs. The second thing is that the nice guy will put up with everyone's trash. His co-workers, friends, family, and any ordinary individuals he might meet in life. Meanwhile, a successful man who is assertive or your typical bad guy does not collect trash from others. Also, I don't just mean women. I'm talking again about anyone, including friends, family, and co-workers. I can promise you that if you do those two things, your entire game will change in an instant. Again, put yourself first and don't let anyone give you trash. It's great that these guys are starting to do that. Therefore, I will go through this article and analyze each circumstance. Men are sharing stories of the times they've walked out on is the article's title once more. We are all aware that dating can be a dangerous endeavor and that getting out of a bad date can be challenging. Most of us have probably been on a date and wished we could just walk away. Most of us don't do that because we have to be polite because of social rules. However, it turns out that some individuals do not hesitate to act out of date when things are not going as planned. To be honest, some of these men's reasons for quitting dates are understandable. This gentleman is writing because, to be honest, it is more than fair for a man to leave every situation here, guys, that they will see. In addition, as you pointed out, social etiquette demonstrates that it is impolite to leave a date. Instead, one should be polite and remain stationary. Also, this is why I always advise you guys to meet for one drink whenever you go on a first date. That is all. And in this way, you can steer clear of a lot of this and not be exploited in any way. Also, make your tea if you don't drink alcohol. Whatever, just one sip. You'll be out of there after the drink is finished so you can quickly size up. Therefore, the first story will demonstrate how these various men left. Number 1. The statement made by this individual reads, I took a gal to Starbucks, bought us both a drink so we could sit and talk about it for about five minutes. She then took a phone call from a coworker, put it on speakerphone, and began to savagely trash talk everyone. The barista at the counter asked her to take the call from the speaker because people were studying, and she then disagreed with the barista. On my way out of the store, I immediately stood up and offered my apologies to the barista. I did not message her and never received a response. 
check out how this guy met her. He noticed right away that she was completely impolite and was talking loudly about the situation. She not only ignored him when she was supposed to meet him, but she also put the phone on speaker so that everyone could hear her talk. Additionally, she was rude to the employee who politely requested that she turn it off. Now picture this guy going to dinner with her and having to eat with her for 45 to 60 minutes to an hour. Imagine guys, just one drink. That guy did a great job of leaving. The second scenario. Guy claims that she just talked about work incessantly. I try to change the subject by asking her about her interests. Nope, she just rants about how her job prevented her from pursuing any guy. She gave the impression that she was doing me a favor by coming out on this and kept talking about how tired she was from work. She didn't even bother to inquire about me. She would occasionally check her phone and give me a nod, indicating that yes, I made an excuse and left. Yes, that's right. He claimed that she appeared to be doing him a favor. You must consider yourself a prize. When you go out with a woman or go on any kind of date, you need to realize that it's not just you who should be thankful to be in her presence. You must respect yourself. Tell her that she is fortunate to be out with me. However, that is not typical of men. Those men are either the bad boys or the assertive men who view them as a prize. At the point when you have a significant impact on that outlook, you consider yourself to be an award. It will make a huge difference in how others treat you if you hold yourself in high regard, put yourself first, and refuse to accept trash from anyone, people in general, not just women. Keep that in mind as well. Okay, situation number three. She was furious at the wait staff for cutting meat. I tried to help, and she was furious at me. I left her with a bill after making an apology to the wait staff and leaving. By how they treat others in a service capacity, you can get an idea of their personality and character. When I was in high school and college, like most people, I worked in restaurants. However, you occasionally encounter significant challenges that make you appear like filth. Also, let me tell you something. Being a waiter is hard work if any of you have never worked in a restaurant. It is, because you have to manage your section and all of the tables. I'll be the first to admit that it's not easy to manage multiple tasks at once. I wasn't very good at multitasking back then, but that helped me get better at it. Additionally, when I dealt with some people, I longed to punch them. Since I've been lucky, I haven't been out with anyone so rude. But if I were, I would think that those people are very insecure and need to talk down to and treat people in service positions like trashed to feel better about themselves. Of course, they have to put up with it and be nice about it or lose their jobs. However, the same individuals who treat others in that position with disrespect would not do so in real life because they would be fired. Number 4. She casually used the N-word to describe our waitress. I stood up, said nothing, and then left. Bravo to him that will not be tolerated. Most likely my favorite is number five. I met her on a dating app and we became close because of our shared love. I decided to take her to a nice restaurant because I had just received my tax rebate and could afford a 200 pound meal after she mentioned that she had not eaten at any good restaurants in the area. First mistake, she courses him into taking her to an extremely pricey location with dinner for 200 pounds. That is pricey. Guys, one drink, first date, as previously stated. Whatever it is, coffee, tea, wine, or beer, one drink because if you don't, you'll go out and spend all of your money and time with someone who will use you, or like a person you saw in other situations. It doesn't make sense, and it shows that she doesn't care about you if you have to take her out on a costly date to get her. If she's really into you, that is, she is truly engaged in the conversation, does not check her phone every 30 seconds, not looking at the bartender, waiter, or any other individual, using body language to communicate by playing with her hair, eyes, and everything else, and your stupid jokes are making her laugh. Then, and only then, can you go for a second drink.
Only after it is certain that she likes you and more importantly, that you have advanced after that, you can start using the money for fun activities, like attending a concert or sporting event, or once more, a nicer dinner. However, do it because you like it. Don't do it so you can get her. I just need to make that crystal clear, because a lot of guys don't think about it when they have a girl. Anyway, she tries to get him to take her to a pricey dinner. See what happens here. It says that he took her out for a dinner of 200 pounds. Up until the point when she ordered her food, an appetizer wine dinner, she talked to me and was engaged. Dessert and a second meal for lunch the following day. She took out her phone after placing her order and she spent the next 20 minutes just looking at Instagram. I excused myself to the bathroom while I attempted to speak with her and after speaking with the waitress, I convinced her to cancel my meal and dessert. At that point, I had only eaten my appetizer. I left after making the full payment, which included the 20% gratuity. When the waitress explained what was going on, my phone exploded about five minutes later. Consider that. Consider her reaction as he departs. Oh, by the way, your date left you, and you are responsible for the enormous bill you just made. The waitress comes over and, and tells her, I can picture it. Guys, once more, one drink. And as I stated earlier, everything was going very well because, as he stated here, she was engaged in the conversation and appeared pleasant. Then she ordered another drink. If she's doing all the things that indicate she's into you and you want one drink, you can order another one. However, if her behavior completely changes, you can't. After that, leave the area. But if she keeps touching you, asking you questions, and laughing at your stupid jokes to show that she cares about you, she isn't looking at her phone. She's totally into you then, and only then. The second drink, if you're hungry, get a small appetizer. But generally, limit yourself to one drink. You can save a lot of money and have good insurance with it. Okay, situation number six. She came along with three of her friends, and it was expected of me to buy them all dinner. I sneaked out and left them a bill. Guys, this kind of trash will be pulled by a lot of women. It's a pity because they thought the guy was weak. They saw him as a doormat with whom they could get even. I can assure you that the same women would have seen him as a prize or a catch if they had known from their conversations and interactions that he was successful. The majority of women would not attempt this. Your strength will always be put to the test by women, but it wouldn't be so obvious to bring multiple friends. Seventh scenario. I was going out with a girl for the second time. I was invited to the theater by her. She greeted me with a charming smile as she read a text message on her phone while we waited for the movie to begin, informing me that my parents would be joining us. I'd like to talk about you. You might be invited to Christmas with them. On our second date in August, I informed her that I was going despite my lack of interest in meeting her parents. Good, now I think this is an instance in which the girl had a great love for him and was just crazy. The kind where you think, oh, I want to lock this guy in right away. Introduce him to everyone and everything. No, that is too fast. Be smart. 8. She took advantage of my severe stutter every time. I started to look up to interrupt. I politely informed her that it was one of my biggest pet peeves, but she just evaded me and continued doing it for the record. I quit my job because of that. They don't need to be in my life if I can't be respected enough to finish a sentence. They shouldn't be in my life at all. I've been around people who have interrupted me, and I don't like it when they do so, so I just talk over them. Additionally, women have done this to me. Some women are very talkative, and when you try to talk to them, they stop you. Because of the rudeness, I will be polite the first time. I'll talk over them the second time, and eventually I'll be out. That will not be tolerated, and not just in a relationship. Anytime you have to talk over someone who isn't polite enough to let you talk, that reveals a great deal about their character. Scenario number nine. I went on a date with a girl who brought her sister along. She went to a bar, ordered a drink, sat down, 
and they just talked to each other without her saying she would bring her. After that, a friend called her sister and asked her to join us. Her friend showed up two minutes later. All of that happened in five minutes, and since I had just bought a drink, I wanted to finish it, but I thought it was too strange. As I stood to leave, they inquired if I could purchase drinks for the girls. Yes, I said, merely turned around and left the bar. Bravo to this man. He thought it was a date once more, but that girl thought it wasn't. Again, she thought he was a coward and that she could get him to buy drinks for her, her sister, and her friends. Sadly, this is done by women, but at the very least, as I mentioned, guys are waking up because men used to never do this. At least the typical nice guys wouldn't do this because their perspective on the world and women is completely distorted, but they are awakening, which is wonderful. The next task is to persuade these nice guys to stop being seen as weak and acting like doormats. Therefore, this trash will not occur initially, but we will get there. Okay, thanks. Situation number 10. One woman sat down and introduced herself. I'd like to discuss a fantastic business opportunity with you. Yeah, I left. Number 11. I was on a double date with a friend and her friend's friend. In the middle of the movie, she got up and went to the back of the theater to have a half-hour conversation with some other guy she knew. I just stood up and left, my friend, not just whispering but having a full conversation in the middle of the movie. Guys, there is an endless supply of women for those of you who date and are in relationships. When you truly value yourself and begin to view yourself as a prize, and when you realize that there is an endless supply of women and options, you will never tolerate this kind of behavior from anyone. Additionally, when you cease to accept trash, others cease to do the same. You will comprehend it to some extent. Some people will test, but overall, that vibe will be picked up by everyone. But of course, there will be test takers, and you should not accept their trash. You advocate on your behalf. It will diminish over time. Number 12 was a Karen. When it came to the wait staff, they were extremely condescending, impolite, and treated like trash. I couldn't believe it because she had always seemed like a total sweetheart and I had a crush on her for years before this first date. Yes, people can act nice, but guys, there you are. That amounts to 12 distinct instances in which these nice guys were not at fault for the way they treated women. Additionally, they were thought of as nice guys, however, these guys couldn't take it. They entered the zone. Also. I adore the one in which both the man and the woman placed orders for all of the food. He said, Hello, I'm paying for my thing to the waitress. He then made her pay the remaining amount and left. That is awesome to me. We're getting there, guys. Keep growing as a person and learning new things. Learn to prioritize yourself, your needs, your requirements. They come first, ahead of all others. And that does not necessitate a negative attitude. Simply value yourself and prioritize yourself. Because no one else will prioritize you. You have to do it on your own. Believe me when I say that as you get older, you'll realize that while you tolerated a lot of trash when you were younger, you now have zero tolerance for it.